EPA and BYU meteorologist Bobby Marchich here with a quick update with the storm system that we're expecting to come in very late on Saturday night and Sunday morning. We'll bring a quick shot of snow and accumulating snow, mainly focused on our southeastern areas. I wanted to have this video out to accompany the map because we did not have a weekend forecast video with some errors that we've had with uh, uploading last night. But uh, this is looking at the simulator radar on the NAM for 4 o'clock in the morning. So this is starting off uh, hot and heavy here at this point and moving northeast. So there initially will be light to moderate snow moving across the region. And this is looking at 7 a.m. As we move this forward, I want you to pay attention to some of these darker uh, banding. This is the uh, this is a front of Genesis that is going to be uh, allow some of our areas to reach the higher end of those totals, but the rest of us will not. If you're not going to get under these heavy bands, you're going to be uh, under the uh, toward the uh, lower end of those ranges that we have listed on the map. So, uh, and it, we're moving us forward into mid to late morning and see some of these bands moving across or mainly our southeastern areas, the heavier stuff anyway, while late to moderate snow continues further northeast. This is looking at noon, and then we hit uh, to about mid afternoon, mid to late afternoon. This is 3 p.m four and then five it should be out of here so uh should not interfere with any evening plans you have for the big game which is right here this is looking at uh around the time that uh the uh the game starts so uh this should be out of here before then give you a little bit of time to clean up whatever does fall but i wanted to point out the ranges here because if we look at our map it has uh a swath of five to nine here now i understand that a lot of people see five to nine and they expect nine that do not expect nine in this uh region here this is to account for a frontal genesis area and some of this bleeds into into c as well uh c and e uh you have three to five here i would expect closer to three but if you get some heavier banding you can get me up up to the uh the, the, the five inch threshold of that range this is why we give ranges same thing here in a five to nine range most of you will see five six inches of snow in this band but uh with some heavier banding that moves through there are going to be some areas that see uh, seven, eight, even nine inches of snow in this swath here. So that's why we have this range of five to nine inches of snow. But just don't expect the upper end for your area uh, because most areas will be closer to the five rather than the nine. Same thing down here in South Jersey. Three to five, you'll probably be closer to the three, not the five. Okay, so heavy banding can overcome that. But I just wanted to point that out so we're not uh, there's not a misunderstanding with how that works. And the National Weather Service is doing something similar. This is their event total snowfall, which means this is what they expect to actually fall. Uh, they're not giving ranges here, but this is what they're expecting. So the three to five area up here, we, they have four right in the middle of that. Uh, the uh, five to nine area that we have down here, they have a lot of fives and sixes on there. I agree with that. Same thing up in here. Uh, but if you look at their upper end, you're seeing a lot of eights and nines here. This is the absolute most that could fall, and that's if you get that heavier banding and the extra added lift. So that's something we're going to be watching, and that's why we have a range of between five and nine for that jackpot range. But just don't expect uh, this. You may basically just expect uh, something closer to the beginning of those ranges, and then uh, that will, uh, again, the timing of this is going to start very early on Sunday morning, wee hours in the morning. Uh, and then it's going to spread northeastward just like that in and out quick uh, quick hitter probably about a nine hour or so event and then it's out of here by mid-afternoon on sunday i'm apa wa meteorologist bobby martrich thanks for watching